Well, I was 14 when the Cultural Revolution started in 1966. And schools were closed, and there was no schooling, and the children were encouraged to attack their teachers. So I saw my teachers being tortured, being subjected to these um, this gigantic denunciation meetings, um, being beaten up. Um, I, you know, I saw fellow pupils trying to commit suicide. It was, it was a nightmare. But for your Terrible. own family, what happened? Well, my parents were victims of the Cultural Revolution. Um, my father was one of the few who spoke up against the violence. So as a result, he was arrested, tortured, mm -hmm. driven insane, and he was exiled to a camp and died prematurely and very tragically. Um, my mother was under tremendous pressure to denounce my father. She refused. So she was subject to over a hundred of these ghastly denunciation meetings. Um, I mean, basically victims were stood on the platform facing a hysterical crowd. And my mother's arms, like other victims, were twisted to the back and, you know, kicked and beaten, made to new on broken see glass. Well, you actually, did you actually witness this? Oh, absolutely. Yes, we all saw this. People of my generation have all seen this and been brutalized. And you still feel that? You still feel there's part of you that's very scarred by it? And I, I feel, yes, I feel strongly. And in a way, I'm very lucky because I was able to write a book yes. about it. I wrote Wild Swans and I turned the trauma into memory so I can talk to you about it. But I but wonder, I wonder, um, the people of your age now, people that are yes. 14 now, 15 now, yes. 16 now, unless they've read Wild Swans, where would they get any information about it? What do young Chinese people know about the Cultural Revolution? Well, um, basically not much, um, because my books are banned yeah. in China, like other books um, of the kind. Um, and, um, and there are people who are saying these mindless things uh, in favor of the Cultural Revolution, which don't get banned. So young people, actually, a lot of young people don't really know what happened. The really curious ones could search the internet, mm. trying to climb over the firewall, but uh, many others just don't know. And I wonder what you think um, uh, about the future in China, whether you think China would ever move from a one-party state, or do you think that this idea of economic advancement and a one-party state will continue because people are just too frightened of change? Um, I think I'm afraid it's going to continue I, for a long time. Um, and basically, I think most people, um, if you ask them, and they would say democracy is a good idea. But most people would also fear what might happen in transition and whether they might get something worse than what they have got today. But that is almost um, not the issue. I think the issue is um, there should be an di open discussion mm -hmm. about the Cultural Revolution because the pa Communist Party itself has has categorically rejected it. Now, finally. Well, I mean, actually, I just after yeah. Mao died. And now there are a lot of people trying to bring back um, that kind of Mao rule. Um, I think that's the real issue. I mean, from my point of view, I'd like to see my books published in China. Thank you very much, Hung Chang, for now.